welcome to my channel once again in this video i will speak on indian sandalwood tree which is also known as white sandalwood botanical name is sandalum album in india it is also called by different names as shown in the subtitles commercially its wood is known as east indian sandalwood and its oil is called as east indian sandalwood oil it produces the second most expensive wood in the world after the african black wood it yields maximum oil up to 6% and more central oil due to which it commands higher price as compared to australian sandalwood centralum spicatum which is also commercially important it is a small to medium sized evergreen tree attaining a height of 12 to 15 meter with a girth of 1.2 meter to 2.4 meter we can see a sandal tree of 2 meter girth at maroor forest in kerala the species is partial root parasite hence it requires host plants for its entire life period the species is indigenous to tropical belt of peninsula india eastern indonesia and north australia in india its natural population is concentrated in karnataka tamil nadu and kerala states major area is found in karnataka state it is the state tree of karnataka karnataka is acclaimed as gandhara gudi means temple of sandalwood and gandhara nadu means land of sandalwood the famous kannada film gandhara gudi was the first indian movie produced in 1973 on the concept of protection of forest and wildlife karnataka's film industry is also known as sandalwood presently sandalwood is categorized as vulnerable in iucn list due to its declining population in wild about its uses its hardwood is moderately hard and durable which serves as an exquisite material for carving and intricate design it is used in making idols construction materials cabinet panel jewel cases etc its hardwood is also sacred a piece of wood is used by hindus in homa and also in funeral pyre because of its sweet fragrance the sandalwood oil is highly used in perfumery cosmetic aromatherapy toiletry and pharmaceutical industries the sandalwood oil is non toxic and so used as flavoring substance in food products and also used in traditional medicines to treat various ailments sandal seed oil is also used for medicinal purposes the paste of sandalwood is used to cleanse wound skin burn acne to enhance color complexion and also as anti aging product regarding hardwood formation do sandalwood comes up well in different parts of india but we do not get similar pattern in hardwood formation and oil content with increasing age of the tree this may be due to different adaptive factors climatic conditions and genetic constituent in the planting material studies conducted by scientists of iwst bangalore in seven states revealed 1 to 4% oil content in sample trees aged between 8 to 35 years in trees of similar girth class 70 to 80 cm in moriur in kerala oil content found was 4.38% while in madhya pradesh it was only 1.52% in india hardwood formation starts in about 6 to 9 years old trees so far no effective chemical method is available to induce earlier and greater hardwood yield about production and market historically india used to dominate sandalwood oil market worldwide during 1965 to 1970 annual production of sandalwood was about 4000 tons it has come down now to 300 to 400 tons present production in india is mainly from government seized materials and little from extracted materials from dead fallen and spike infected trees even in karnataka during pre independence period sandalwood production was about 3000 tons per annum Presently it has come down below 10 tons 
global demand for central wood is about 5,000 to 6,000 tons per annum. Currently, India is having about 30,000 hectares of central wood plantations, which has been raised after relaxation of rules and regulation in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu states during 2001 and 2002. Nowadays, the farmers can sell sandal trees to the forest departments in both the states at the rates fixed by the government time to time. In Karnataka, farmers can also sell to Karnataka State Handicrafts Development Corporation Limited and Karnataka Soaps and Detergents Limited at negotiated prices. As per procedure, the grower needs to apply to the local RFO along with land particulars and tree list. After getting RFO's inspection report, the DCF gives permission for extraction. Extraction is done in presence of the concerned forest guard. The material is transported to the forest depot under a permit. After conversion of logs into different grades in presence of the owner, valuation is done and after deduction of conversion charge, supervision charge, the remaining amount is paid to the owner. The government of Karnataka revised procurement rate recently in March 2021 for different grades of central root. As example, present rate per kg for Vilayat first quantity billet is Rs. 12,200. For Ghatbadala, Rs. 12,700. For Jaipakal first class, Rs. 13,700. The same rate is also applicable for retail sale for bona fide purposes, but the purchaser has to pay additional 35% taxes. As per present export policy, export for central root billets is prohibited in India. Finished handicap products, machine finished products are allowed to export freely, but restricted in case of sandalwood oil, dust, flakes, waste and machine finished chip chan powder for which license is required. Now let me talk about its cultivation and propagation. Sandalwood has wide adaptability and hence can be grown in different soils and climatic conditions. So, in non-traditional areas of India, also it has been cultivated successfully. Relatively dry, sandy, well-drained, stony red soils are favorable for its growth. Black cotton soil, saline and alkaline soils should be avoided. It prefers 12 degree to 35 degree Celsius temperature, 600 to 1600 millimeter rainfall and 650 to 1200 meter elevation. It requires partial set in early stage and full sunshine in later stages. Karnataka and Tamil Nadu state forest departments are encouraging to grow more sandalwood under state government schemes. In Karnataka, besides giving seedlings in very nominal prices, the farmers are also paid Rs 125 per surviving seedling as incentive. IWST Bangalore also supplies quality sandalwood seedlings to the farmers of different states. National Medicinal Plants Board, Government of India also has scheme to promote sandalwood cultivation in different states. Farmers should procure seeds and seedlings from known sources only for better growth and outturn of earth wood and oil. They should preferably take suitable technical advice from forest department and from IWST. Sandalwood is mainly propagated through seeds. Mature seeds should be collected during October November, preferably from 15 to 20 years old superior trees, but certainly not from single tree. After depulping and drying, seeds are treated with 500 ppm zebradic acid for 16 hours to get early and uniform germination. Seeds are sown in January on sand beds of size. 1 meter by 10 meter. 500 gram thymate granules per bed is to be mixed. After sowing, the bed is covered with straw and watering is done twice a day. The straw cover is removed when seedlings start germinating. In case of damping off of seedlings, 1% body oil mixture is applied. Seedlings in 2-4 to four leaf stage are pricked carefully and transplanted in poly bags containing sand, red soil and farmyard manure in 2 is to 1 is to 1 ratio. 
At the same time, in each bag, seeds of red gum is sown or cutting of touch minor plant or honogonosapu are planted as primary host. After that, seedlings are kept under shed for 5 to 6 days. Within 6 to 8 months, we get plentiful size seedlings of about 1 feet height. 0.2% weightable sulfur or hexan of fungicide may be tried to control powdery mildew. Usually, sandal seedlings are planted at 3 meter specimen in 45 centimeter cube pits. However, bigger size pits may be required in case of tall seedlings. In each pit, 5 kg permeate manure is added. A secondary host, agati is planted at 3 feet distance from central plant. As permanent host, sisu, bubble, siris, red sanders, rosewood, neem, milia dubia, gezurina, amla, jamun, guava, etc. can be planted at 3 to 4 meter distance from central plant. For example, sandal can be planted at 6 meter by 3 meter specimen and amla can be planted in the center in Queen Kang's design to accommodate 555 seedlings of each species per hectare. With Kezurina, 4 meter by 4 meter spacing can be adapted to accommodate 625 plants of each species per hectare. Kezurina is to be planted in Queen Kang's position. Currently, 5 meter by 4 meter spacing is popular in Huis. In between two rows of sandal, host plant is planted at 2.5 meter apart from sandal. In this model, 500 plants of each species can be planted per hectare. Annual crops also can be raised as intercrops in this model. In semi arid zone, 400 sandal saplings per hectare can be planted intercropping with red gum. All these models are economically viable as per the IWST scientists. During initial period of the plantation, drip irrigation is needed for establishment. After 6 to 7 years, watering should be stopped to develop stress for hardwood formation. Climber cutting and periodic pruning of host plants are needed. Every year, few lower branches of sandalwood trees need to be pruned close to the main stem retaining 60% crown length to obtain good quality of hardwood. As per analysis done by IWST scientists, harvesting at 15 years age and 20 years age of the plantations is economically viable. However, for better yield of hardwood and oil content, harvesting at 25 to 30 years age will be ideal. Usually, the growers harvest early due to financial reasons and also due to theft problem. The growers who can afford should install remote surveillance protection system to protect the plantations. The future needs of sandalwood have to be from planted sources. So expansion of well-managed sandalwood plantations in both private land and government land is very essential. It will not only benefit the growers and the other associated people with sandalwood but also will help in conserving this precious species. Simultaneously, adequate and continuous protection measures for in situ conservation of its population in its natural habitat, especially in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, need to be taken up. Kerala has already good protection measures, which is praiseworthy. Strong protection measures with appropriate management practices will rejuvenate sandal in sandal bearing states to bring back the past glory. Uniform policy on sandalwood for the entire country along with further liberalization of trade policy at government level will immensely benefit the growers. Vishwakovi Rabindranath Tagore wrote on sandalwood. As if to prove that love would conquer hate, the sandalwood perfumes the very axe that lays it down. Let us grow more and more sandalwood and conserve it. Thank you very much for watching.